Gingivitis is the number one cause of all tooth decay. Today on Filmland, I'm gonna show you how to do this. Hey guys, welcome to Film Learning, the show that I can to learn you some filmmaking and learn you good. Now I did a whole bunch of videos last week, so I just thought I'd end the week with this quick tip episode. And today I'm going to show you a really easy way to make yourself the negative flash. So realistically, there's only three things you need to do to become the negative flash. Now one is the black eyes, which we have actually covered in the easy demon eyes effect episode, which is in the card above and in the description. You can check that out right now. Number two is the negative lightning. Now. There's only two shots in that episode where he's actually got the negative lightning. And to me, it just looks like white lightning with a little bit of black in it. So I'm also gonna show you how to accomplish that with our previous strike packs. And number three, you guessed it, is those awful blackish brownish teeth. Now gang, there is a couple of different ways you can achieve those black teeth. And of course guys, and I'm excited to say, this is a 100% practical effect. One is to use a black tooth effects makeup that they actually used on the show to create the black teeth effect on the flash itself. Here's a video from Candace Patton's Twitter of her actually getting the makeup applied. Now the second option is to use a mouth coloring rinse. So this is something that you just drip into your mouth, swirl it around and bam, you've got those disgusting teeth. Now since I wanted to make a quick tip episode and I wanted to do it quickly, and neither of those things were available in my country, I went with the third option. And that was going down to the supermarket and buying some activated charcoal powder for around $10. And I just stuck a whole bunch of that in my mouth. So to do this is actually pretty simple. All you gotta do is just grab a toothbrush, put some of the powder on the toothbrush and brush your teeth. The other option being that you can just put that directly on your finger and just swirl it around your teeth as well. And after about 30 seconds or so, you have a radiant smile. Now guys, just a quick word of warning. If you are gonna use the charcoal powder over both of those tooth makeup effects, you are gonna have to reapply it constantly because this isn't meant to stay on your teeth. Whereas the mouth coloring rinse and the black tooth makeup are actually meant to stay on until you remove them. So if you just need to get like one or two shots, charcoal powder, it's gonna work great. But if you can find either of those two makeups, I highly recommend picking those up because they are gonna last a lot longer if you wanna do multiple takes and that sort of thing. And neither of those two options actually cost much more. So once you've shot your actor with that dynamic smile, head into After Effects, add their demon eyes, add a little bit of that negative lightning, and this is what you end up with. Now gang, just taking into consideration how little we saw of the negative flashes lightning, I just kinda improv this one. So all I've done is just grab some Savitar lightning from the Strike Effects pack, and then, if I just open this pre-comp up, I've just put an unmolt on it just to remove the black background. And if we just jump back over there, all I've done is just put two instances of drop shadow on there. So if I just take those off, you can see all I've done is just add a drop shadow underneath it on this side. And then I've just added another instance of drop shadow underneath the other side. So essentially it's just got one big shadow encompassing the whole thing. Now guys, I know that's just a little bit of a cheat, but until we see that negative flash lightning in a full episode of him running around, it's hard to really see what it looks like. So guys, there you have it, a quick and easy way to do some negative flash effects. As you can see, this thing is super easy to pull off. I mean, all you're doing is just staining your teeth a little bit. But for now guys, that's all I got for you. If you did enjoy this quick tip episode, please smash that like button. I really do appreciate it and it does help out. And hey, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button below and turn that notification bell on so don't miss a single film learning episode. We have over 250 of them, so there's plenty for you to see, including these two over here, as well as my social media crap if you wanna follow me for behind the scenes and general musings. I've also got the Patreon there if you wanna help support us or you can support us directly on YouTube by clicking that join button below. But until I see you again, guys, keep learning.